Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will discuss about my journey as a CA engineer, uh, particularly in India. So you will get to know uh, what are the experiences I had and what are the companies for which I have worked for uh, during past years before I started applying for jobs in Europe. It is particularly important for you to have good experiences and you should have uh, certain years of experience before you started applying uh, for jobs in Europe. Uh, because the reason is simple, uh, the company will need a very strong reason to hire you uh, as they have to go through a lot of paperwork in order to offer a position uh, from a candidate outside European Union. Initially, that company will search candidate uh, within the European Union and if they cannot manage to find uh, a candidate with higher experiences uh, within uh, this European Union, they will approach a candidate outside uh, the Union. So it is very important for you to have a good and specific experience uh, in order to have an interview and in order to crack that interview and get a job in Europe. So kindly uh, watch this video till the end and you will understand that uh, what uh, specific type of experiences I had as a CA engineer that uh, helped me getting a job in Sweden. So before I start the video, uh, a quick disclaimer that I will talk out of my own experiences, uh, but things may differ from situation to situation. So please mind that. Uh, and also one more thing, like uh, for particularly for Sweden, when a company uh, make a, an advertisement uh, initially for 10 days, if uh, that particular company does not receive any uh, application from Sweden or from European Union, uh, that company is allowed to look uh, out candidate outside the European Union. So it's a standard procedure so that the company which are willing to recruit someone uh, should have that advertisement open for at least 10 days uh, within the European Union before they start looking for someone outside the European Union. So it is uh, very important to know. During my whole uh, visa process, that was the document always asked by the migration worker uh, that uh, particular piece of advertisement and whether it was up for 10 days or not that uh, document was always asked uh, during the visa renewal process as well. So please keep in mind that don't be in hurry. Uh, please have some uh, years of experience in India before you start applying for jobs abroad. Unless if you are studying in a particular uh, foreign institute that uh, always helps uh, in getting job in that particular country. So if you are not studying abroad, uh, you if you are simply trying for jobs uh, out of the experiences in India. So try to have some specific experience and uh, try to have experience for a little bit for longer duration so that uh, the company that uh, hire you uh, have sufficient reason to go through the application process and uh, finally offer you a position in, in their company. So let's begin friends, uh, here uh, in this video I will discuss all my experiences in, during all these years and how the growth has happened as a CA engineer. I will explain all that in details. Please watch till the end so that all your concepts get cleared. So let's begin friends. So friends, right after completing my specialization in tool design and CAD CAM, I joined Mahindra as a trainee in their design department. It was not a permanent position. They offered me a, a trainee position for one year. Uh, usually in Mahindra, they offer such positions and depending on the performance, uh, they uh, give a, a permanent job offer after one year. So a lot of my seniors before me who joined Mahindra in the same way uh, and as I had friends and seniors previously in the same department, so it was quite easy for me to navigate through the processes uh, within the company. So I started working uh, in Ketia and in some other softwares. I already uh, completed my training in Ketia and some CAM softwares and also some of the CA softwares. So uh, it was not very difficult for me to uh, understand the work. So gradually I was gaining experiences uh, in uh, different design modules. Uh, but lately I developed keen interest on CA uh, software and in CA department. 
so that was the reason why i started looking for job uh, in ca domain very early stage even before completing one year in mahindra my parents were initially opposing me because mahindra is a very well known company and everyone uh, knows the brand and it's a very big company as well so but lately uh, i got an opportunity in a french multinational uh, which was called forestia interior systems at that time uh, so they set up uh, a new tech center in pune at that time uh, so i joined them as a gt uh, in their ca department so initially i was using uh, softwares like hypermesh and ansa uh, and prepare mesh for different other simulations uh, so uh, initial 6 months to 1 year i uh, only worked on making the mathematical models uh, for uh, other people who actually perform the simulations uh, but lately after 1 year i moved to a uh, flow simulation department uh, uh, especially for plastic parts uh, so then i started uh, working uh, on different uh, solvers and different uh, like uh, simulation softwares Uh, and uh, started my journey as an analyst from there uh, later on uh, from the same company i traveled to their french division and i stayed there uh, for 4 months to 6 months uh, approximately and then i came back uh, and then i got promoted as a senior engineer in in forestia and i was also handling a sm- very small team under me uh, and uh, i was in charge for all the deliveries and all the work for a particular french location uh, so that's how i continue within the forestia and before uh, leaving that company i was uh, promoted to ca pilot uh, which is like a team leader uh, uh, type of role uh, where i used to take care all the projects and also Uh, i was handling uh, some of my junior uh, colleagues uh, under me and help them uh, in delivering uh, different projects so uh, that was my role basic role in forestia actually in forestia i got a, a lot of upgradation forestia helped me to uh, do lot of certifications uh, within the company and also some of them were external certificates that Uh, also costs uh, a lot of money if i would have done it uh, individually so all in all i uh, worked in forestia for about 7 uh, years uh, then i thought it's time to uh, look for some new opportunity uh, maybe uh, some diversification uh, which can help me uh, to have some different experience so uh, then uh, i gave a few interviews then finally i got an opportunity as a senior consultant in capgemini uh, so as you know capgemini is a software company uh, or a it company but they also have this design and development section uh, where uh, mechanical uh, engineers and designers work for different clients within the company uh, so as capgemini is also a french company uh, so most of the clients are based in france for that particular project at which i was selected so uh, then uh, from capgemini i started working for a company uh, called plastic omnium so this is also a very big uh, brand name uh, in automotive sector uh, so i i uh, travel to france uh, slovakia uh, at different locations of plastic omnium and and try to understand uh, what are the projects uh, they are working on and then i came back and uh, then i started working in for plastic omnium later uh, after one year plastic omnium also set up their own tech center in pune uh, and then i moved uh, to them as uh, on their payroll uh, so yeah then i started working directly for uh, plastic omnium uh, i was one of the uh, initial employees like who started the company uh, who started the tech center more specifically so then the company grew uh, from like 10 employees to approximately 100 employees when i left uh, plastic omnium uh, and came to sweden so uh, before uh, leaving uh, plastic omnium my uh, role was to perform uh, similar ca simulation that uh, what i was doing in forestia but here i was 
uh, appointed as assistant manager so uh, i had a little bit of more responsibility like uh, some management responsibility like maintaining time sheet apart from my day to day job and uh, like helping my uh, junior colleagues in their work and also help uh, the cad engineers in the design like giving them feedback uh, about uh, different products on which they are working on so these were my roles uh, in plastic omnium uh, so as you can see friends during all these years i was uh, working on plastic domain and on similar software so it gives me uh, an immense expertise in this particular domain so uh, as i always say like when a company will hire you and when a company will sponsor your visa from uh, such a long distance they will have to go through a lot of paperwork as uh, they as they were about to offer uh, a job to a candidate who does not belong to european union so it is very important for you to have at least 3 to 5 years of experience in india before you start applying for jobs uh, in sweden or in europe but if you are doing your masters in sweden or in europe uh, this will help you uh, in networking with different people in the industry so if you are studying uh, you can uh, get a job very easily even if you are a fresher but if you are not studying here in europe and you are uh, directly applying from india or from any other country it is particularly important that you have specific experience and some uh, years of experience before uh, you will get accepted uh, as a candidate uh, during the interview process so i hope um, this video will help you Uh, so that you can organize yourself uh, in your uh, journey uh, towards finding job in europe so if you are enjoying my videos please like it and subscribe to my channel this will give me immense motivation so thanks a lot for watching i will see you in another one